Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create a game in Google Slides. So here is a cool game. I'm going to take you through a little bit of the game first and then show you how it's done. Now this is not a game that was done by me, but some students in another uh, school district in another state. So this is, you can, you're starting by going to either storybook, story mode or online. When you click online, they made this cool with a animated GIF here um, that it's searching for online servers. It will never run. Um, so you're going to click back to start and you can go to story mode. So it's an introduction talking about President Jefferson and expedition across North America. Um, gives you a little introduction to the game. Click continue. Now you have to choose your character, Lewis or Clark. And many of you probably know who Lewis and Clark are. I'm going to pick Clark. Now it's going to talk to you about how this is going to progress. We see ourselves, here's where we are in the United States, and that map's going to help us keep uh, track of our progress. Gives us a little bit more information about the story, and then we click continue. Um, talks about the Sioux, and um, they were aggressive. And again, a little more information, and we see we've moved a little bit, so we're going to click continue. Now you come to a problem. You've encountered the Sioux near President Day, Pierre, South Dakota. Their presence near the river created a standoff. What will you do? Will you attempt to intimidate them or will you offer to pay? So maybe we click intimidate. Oh, waste it. Game over. So we can click start over and we can start through the game again. This time we'll make a better decision. We'll try diplomacy hey, it worked, and it's telling us we're now allowed to move on. A little bit more information about the story, and you can see we're moving along here. And we come up to another challenge. What do we want to do? We hire Sacagawea. Okay, a little more of the story. We're continuing with the story. We're moving in the map. We come across a bear. What do we do? You know, do we shoot the bear or... Do we try and get back to the boat? Uh, we're going to try and get back to the boat. Ah, ways, and we can start over. So again, this is just a little bit about what the game looks like. Now, if we go back, here we are in Google Slides. And if you look, this game has 43 slides. So what... The students did here was every time there was something to click on, they use that control K feature. So if we go to story mode, we it automatically links to slide two. If we chose this online mode, it links to slide 43. And as we can see, here is slide 43. This is an animated GIF that they added in. Um, so all you're doing is linking slides to the stories. So I am going to share this with you, but it is a great way to make a really cool interactive game. This game could be used for really any subject or anything that you're learning about to create a very cool game to show what you've learned or to create something if you're like in my seventh grade class and we're talking about students with disabilities, maybe about how a student with a disability might feel in certain situations. You really just have to be creative, think about it before you start. Um, and I'll link up some places to get really good graphics like some of these characters. Um, and again, they, they chose really interesting fonts, right? This, was, this font was called Press Start. Um, you know, really get some some cool ideas and get some juices flowing. I would definitely think about planning it out, kind of mapping out what your game's going to be first, but a, a real excellent choice um, as a way to make a game in Google Slides. And remember, stay safe, stay strong, stay learning. Bye-bye.